Hi, welcome to Kudr's Voice. In this video, I will show you how to install macOS Sonoma on VMware Workstation Player. This is the third video about how to install macOS on virtual machine. To install macOS on VMware Workstation Player, first you need to enable virtualization on your computer. Second, you need to install and unlock VMware Workstation Player. You may check my other videos for how to do the first two steps. I have put all the links below this video. Uh, you may check them. After you have the VMware Workstation Player installed, you may follow this video to install the macOS. First, you need to download the disk image file of the macOS or the ISO file. You may download the file from the links I put below this video. You may also follow my another video of how to create an ISO file of the macOS Sonoma yourself if you have an Apple hardware computer. The link is also put below. Once you have the macOS ISO file, you can unzip it if it's compressed, just like what I did here. I unzipped the file to the desktop. Now I can start the VMware Workstation Player to start to install the macOS. Now start VMware Workstation Player. Click uh, Create a New Virtual Machine. And uh, select I will install the operating system later. Click Next. Select uh, Apple Mac OS. Uh, select the right version. And uh, click uh, Next. For the installation location, I will change it to the Documents. Go to Virtual Machine. Click OK. Click on Next. And I will change the installation virtual disk to 100 GB. Uh, select the install virtual disk as a single file. Click Next. And then click uh, Customize Hardware. Uh, according to your computer, you may change the numbers here. For the memory, and I will change it to 8 GB. For processor, I will change it to 4. Then find the macOS ISO file. So I will go to the desktop, select uh, Sonoma. Now make sure the USB controller, select a 3.1. And all the other parameters are fine. Click uh, Close. Click uh, Finish. I can start the virtual machine now. Uh, just click this uh, Start button to start the virtual machine. Uh, select uh, your language, and I click Next. Click uh, Disk Utility, click Continue. Select uh, this uh, VMware Virtual SATA hard drive, and I click uh, Erase. Give a name to the hard disk, I will Sonoma. Hard disk drive, click Erase. Click it down, and uh, close this window. Now, before you click this uh, Install macOS uh, Sonoma button, uh, you need to make some changes to the uh, virtual machine configuration file. So go to the Installation folder. Go to Virtual Machine. Right click this uh, VMware Virtual Machine configuration file. Open with a notepad and I go to the bottom part and uh, end of this line. Uh, this will prevent an error from uh, happening due to the Apple system management controller. And I also find uh, this line, the Ethernet virtual device, and uh, change this parameter to. VMX Net 3. Once you're done, I know just uh, Control S, save it, and uh, close this file, close it. And now you can click this button and I click uh, Continue, Continue, click uh, Agree, Agree, and uh, click this uh, disk, click Continue. Uh, depending on your computer, it may take about uh, 30 to 40 minutes for the installation to complete. 
so just be patient to wait for it to finish. Continue. All right, don't use my slide at time. Continue. Continue. Now I selected the appearance. I will select this uh, light color. Continue. Okay, now the macOS Sonoma was installed. I mounted this uh, installation file. However, there are still some problems you may want to solve for this installation. For example, if I click this full window, the macOS window is not in full screen. And uh, also, if I move the mouse cursor, sometimes it's a little bit sluggish. Most importantly, for now, and if I want to move a file uh, between the host system and the virtual machine, now I cannot do it. For example, if I want to move this file from the host system to the virtual machine, and I cannot just drag and drop, I cannot do it. To solve all these problems, you need to install the VMware tools, and I will show you how to do that in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.